Hi, it's Robbie, and I want to show you today if you're making your high tops, your high arch tops for your totes, let me show you how you can make a mini warm greenhouse out of this. Now you can use a trash bag if you're going to cover them only at night and take this off. That's either black or white or doesn't matter. Or you can use some clear plastic. This came with something that I bought. And so I keep the clear plastic. And what we can do is cover this with clear plastic. Now I could cut it or leave it the way it is and it is doubled up. And I think for now I'm going to leave it just the way it is. This way I can leave it on during the day and it will be well protected. Now what I'm going to use is Velcro. You can get this at the dollar stores, you can get it at any craft store, and I am going to Velcro on the plastic. The reason I'm going to Velcro it on is because this way I can take it off if I don't want it. So I can use it just for now during the, let's say we're still in winter, going in the spring, and then I can change it up later. So you want each corner to have the right and the left one. You know which one. They stick together. So here, let's say I'm going to just put on a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to stick this on. And now I've got the Velcro on here. I'm going to do all four corners that way. So I can just put the, the glue on here. By doing it that way, and put as many Velcro stickers or as least amount you want, totally up to you. Do all four corners, and then you can have yourself a mini greenhouse if it's cold. Isn't that cool? Now the plastic isn't going to last that long, but it will last long enough for you to do what you need to do. And that's what's really, really important. So you can get your plant started and get them outside. So just do your four corners, and like I said, if you want to do more than four corners, you want to do for the middle too, that's fine. And this will hold it from blowing off. I'll probably cut the plastic on this. Isn't this cool? Now this is sticking to the tool, so you're going to want to leave the Velcro on when you take this off later on. Because you don't want to tear your tool. But on the plastic, it won't matter. You can put the plastic away and use it later when you want. bags you can use whatever you want I'm going to trim it here we don't need so much plastic I could leave it trim it I'm just going to trim it off and look at that you now have a plastic cover on your high top your high arch covers for your totes it will hold some heat in if it's cold, inside of the tote will hold heat in, and you will have, be all ready to go. And then once the weather's warm, you have nice warm nights, you can just take the plastic off because it's on Velcro and leave your tool there to protect your plants from insects. This is a desk stapler. You can use it, a little harder to handle, but if you can push it down, you can use it on your table. And if you can hold it and squeeze it, you can use it. This is called a plier 
stapler. It is still a paper stapler, but the difference is it's shaped like a pliers and you handle it like a pliers. You can get them online. I just actually ordered another one, so I have a couple of them and they're about $10 each, so check those out. So when you're putting on your Velcro, you can simply staple it instead of using a glue gun. You just staple the one piece to one side, you staple the other piece of the Velcro to the other side, and that is it. Use two staples and don't forget to pinch it down with the pliers so you don't hurt yourself. But now you've got a mini greenhouse on your toes. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. So just an ending thought. This plastic cover is made to go on those high tops that I have the other video on. So if you don't have the high tops to protect your plants from insects or weather, whatever you're covering it for, you'll have to make those first. The plastic that I'm showing you here, that is to keep the plants warm in very cold weather. You won't need it when it gets hot. But in cooler weather, if you're starting seedlings outside or you have very young plants, the plastic will protect it from the cold wind. And that's why you need the plastic. It's making and creating heat as a mini greenhouse. This is perfect this way by using the Velcro because you can remove the plastic in the morning if you don't need it and you want the plants to harden off and acclimate with the temperature outside. If you have cold weather still, you still wanna keep the tote and container warm. It will hold warmth in there. As the plants are in the soil, the soil stays a little bit warm. So it will act as a, like a terrarium, like a greenhouse until your weather is ready to remove that and let your plants do their thing. You can use any type of plastic. I had that, I recycled that plastic. Something I bought was covered with that plastic. But you can get plastic sheeting, and like I said, you can use even garbage bags, large garbage bags, anything that would cover the top. If you use a dark one, be sure to only cover it at night if you're using a black trash bag. And then in the morning, you will have to take the Velcro off so it will get the sunlight. You can put the plastic sheeting on using paper fasteners, zip ties, staples if you want but with that it makes it more permanent you will have to remove the whole top and if that works for you then go ahead and do it that way the whole idea is look at this and decide what design what method will work for your garden and tweak it in the fashion that makes it work for your plants to make your life easier and being productive in growing some of your own food and this will get you going to protect your plants during the cooler weather. So I hope I have given you some thoughts. Think out of the box and make those covers if you need it so you can start planting as quick as possible to get a jump start on your vegetable plants. Bye-bye and have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow.